All right, this is the Chapter 5 review. This video um, can accompany your Desmos um, activity. Uh, you really want to make sure that you do that Desmos activity before you take the test. Kind of a warm-up. Which adventure, adventure are you? Well, I'd either go between the Hulk or Nick Fury. I'm going to go with Nick Fury because he's in charge. All right, what is the solution? Well, the solution is where they cross, and in this case, it's 2, negative 2. They cross right here. Make sure you don't switch your x and your y around. Negative 2, comma 0. On this one, they don't cross their parallel lines, so this is a no solution. If I'm going too fast, you might have to hit pause and um, write things down or type things, okay? So on this one, we want to tell whether the ordered pair is a solution. Well, they're telling us that x is negative 3 and y is 5. If it's a solution, I can plug that into both equations. So I've got y equals, why did I put a negative sign there? That was a mistake. y equals negative x plus 2. I can erase that x and put in negative 3. That's going to make that a positive 3. Oh, I forgot to take out my y and put in 5. And I'm going to get 5 equals 3 plus 2, which is 5. So that one, that top one, is a yes. I need to do the same thing with the bottom equation of y equals 3x minus 2. Take out my y, put in 5. Take out my x, put in negative 3. So I'm going to get negative 9 minus 2. That equals negative 11. So 5 does not equal negative 11. So that one is going to be a no. If you wanted to type out your work, you can do it in this box instead. Do the same thing here. x is 2 y is negative 4. Start with your first equation. y equals negative x plus 2. Erase your y. Put in negative 4. Erase your x. Put in 2. Oops, that 4 looks like a 9. There, made that a little better. And you're going to get negative 2 minus 2 which is negative 4. So that one works. Do the same thing with your bottom equation. I'm going to take out the y, put in negative 4. Take out my x, put in 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So those two sides work. Yes, it is a solution. All right, you sell pencils for $1.25 and erasers for $0.50. Cents. So I'm going to let P be cut in the number of pencils. And I'm going to let E be the number of erasers. So I defined my variables. Um, you collect $20, selling a total of 28 items. You want to write two equations. Well, the number of pencils plus the number of erasers has to be 28, because they told us we sold 28 items. Well, and then I made $20, and a pencil is $1.25. I have to move that over a little. An eraser is 50 cents. And that has to equal $20. So that is your two equations right here. All right, next one. You buy a total of nine pizzas for the class party. The amount of large pizzas was twice the amount of medium pizzas. 
Okay, well, I'm going to use L, capital L, for large pizzas. And I'm going to use an M for medium pizzas. Um, you buy a total of nine, so the number of large plus the number of medium has to be nine. There's your first equation. Then the amount of large pizzas was twice the amount of medium. And there are my two equations. All right, match the system to the easiest method to solve. So we've got three ways. We've got graphing, we've got, and then we talked about substitution, and the last one that we did was elimination. So you want to use graphing if your graphs are given to you. So I've gotten two graphs, the graphs were given to me. Substitution, if you've got a y equals or an x equals. Well, right here, I have y equals. So that is going to be substitution. Right here, I have another y equals. So that's going to be substitution. Elimination, you want to use that when your x's are lined up, the y's are lined up, and your numbers are lined up. So that one is elimination. That one, my x's, my y's, and my numbers are lined up. So that one is elimination. And then you can check and see if you got them all right. Um, in class, we did this one by yourself, but we'll do it together right now. Graphing, they're given to me. Elimination, I have an, either an x equals or a y equals. And elimination, my variables are lined up over each other. All right, we want to solve this by substitution. That means I want to plug that top equation into the bottom equation. And it has a y equal, so I'll plug it in for the y. So I have 3x minus 2. And here's going to be my substitution, y equals 21. And instead of y, I'm going to write negative x plus 2. Now I need to distribute. That will give me 3x plus 2x, be careful of your signs, minus 4 equals 21. Combine your like terms, 5x minus 4 equals 21. Add 4 to both sides. I get 5x equals 21. I get add 21 plus 4 is 25. Divide by 5. X is 5. Well, now I need to know what Y is. You can plug it into the top or the bottom. I'm going to plug it into the top. Y, I'm going to take out the X, put in 5. And I get negative so my solution here is x comma negative 3. Let's try another one. Uh, we want to solve this by substitution again. So I've got 6x plus 3y. Is that the one we just did? Nope, it's not. It just looked similar. Because on the other one we had x minus 3, or negative x plus 2. Here we have negative x minus 3. So go ahead, make your substitution, and I'll have negative x minus 3, I get 6x minus 3x minus 9 equals 21. 
Combine your like terms. I'm going to do this one mentally in my head. Add 9 here and here. And I get 3x equals 30. x is going to equal 10. Now we need to know what y is. y is negative x, which is going to be negative 10. Minus 3, negative 13. So my ordered pair, and I have to give it as an ordered pair, is 10, comma, negative 13. You have to have parentheses. All right, this one is going to be elimination because my variables line up over each other. So I've got 3x plus 2y equals 7, and negative 3x plus 4y equals 5. I'm going to line them up and then add them together. 3 and negative 3, that's 0. 2 plus 4, 6y. 7 plus 5, 12. y is 2. Well, now I need to know x. Doesn't matter, but I'm going to choose the top one. And we'll do that in orange. I'm running out of room a little. 3x plus 2 times 2 equals 7. 3x plus 4 equals 7 minus 4 from both sides. Divide by 3, and you get 1. So my ordered pair is 1, 2. Um, I'm thinking substitute or elimination again, because I have 3x minus 2y equals 5. And x plus 2y equals negative 1. Add them together and you're going to get 4x equals 4 or x equals 1. I'm going to plug it into the bottom equation this time. 1 plus 2y minus 1 and I get negative 2 y is going to be negative 1. On the test, you have to show your work. If you just put an answer down, you will not get full credit. All right, is it a solution? Well, they're telling you an x and a y. So 5 less than or equal to negative 2 times negative 3 plus 3. Well, negative 2 plus th times th negative 3 is 6. And you're going to end up with 5 is less than or equal to 9. Yes, that's true. 5 is less than 9. All right. We have to match up here. We've got a less than. So if it's got the... Um, equal sign underneath, we know that it has to be a solid line. So I'm going to put all my solid lines over to the one side. If it's uh, less than, greater than, and no line underneath, my line is going to be dotted. Now I need to um, sort them out between that. Well, greater than, it's going to be shaded above and less than it's going to be shaded below. So if I take this, put my pointer, it's shaded below because if I go straight down, it's below. On this one, if I put my pointer, the shading goes straight down, that one is a less than. On this one, put my pointer on there, go straight up, it's greater than. Put my pointer on the line, Go straight up, 
is greater than. Put my pointer on the line here, go straight up, it's greater than. Put my pointer on the line, go straight down, it's less than. Put my pointer on the line, go straight up, greater than. Put my pointer on the line, go straight down, it's less than. Got them all correct. All right, writing inequality. Well, I'm going straight down and it's dotted, so I automatically know I'm going to be using a less than. My y intercept is zero because it's crossing the y axis at zero. And it looks like I'm going up two, right one, up two, right one, up two, right one. So my slope is two over one which is just two. And when I do that, I get y is less than 2x plus zero. Putting plus zero is not needed, so I'm just going to submit it like that. On this one, it's a horizontal line. So I automatically know it's going to start with a y. And going straight up, it's a solid line. So it's going to be a greater than or equal to. And my y-intercept is 2. So, like that. So it's just, and if I want to get math type, I can do it right there. y greater than or equal to 2. Write an inequality to match this one. Okay, well, first of all, I'm going up, and it's a solid line, so it's going to be greater than or equal to. My y-intercept is negative 3, and my slope is right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3. So, y is greater than or equal to negative 3x and my slope rise over run my rise is 3 my run is 1 oops i messed up right there there shouldn't be a negative sign sorry probably should have just written that down rise is 3 run is 1 so 3x minus 3. I want to double check something really quick. Oh, we're good. All right, matching inequality. Well, on this one, it's lower, going straight down, and it's dotted, so it's just going to be a less than. My y-intercept is 2, and my slope up one, left one. And we're going left, so my slope is going to be negative 1 over 1, or just negative 1. So y is less than negative 1x plus 2. And if you just put negative x, that is perfect. All right, we want to tell whether it's a solution. Well, you're going to have to plug it in both of them. So they're telling us x is negative 1, y is 3. 3 greater than or equal to negative 1. Well, 3 is bigger than negative 1, so that's a yes. Uh, y is less than 2x plus 5. Well, my y is 3 less than 2x plus 5, and you're going to get negative 2 plus 5. 3 is less than 3. No, you'd have to have an equal sign there, so that's going to be a no. Is 0, 0 a solution? Well, here's 0, 0. Let's make it black so you can see it a little better. There's 0, 0, and it's not a solution because it is on the dotted 
line. So it could be anywhere in the purple region. It could be on a solid line, but it can't be on the dotted line because the dotted line is not part of the solution. Um, so on this one, let's look at the first x plus 2. That's the blue line here. And as a greater than, they should have shaded the blue above. If you're a little shaky on your um, graphing, you can always go to just plain old desmos.com. Make sure there's no student in front of it. Put graphing, and you can type it in exactly how it looks. Okay, and you can um, can't remember what that one. Oh, that was an X, greater than x plus two. And you can see what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Uh, you know what? That also should have been a dotted line. I didn't catch that. So on this one, Let's just go to Desmos. I'm just doing a cut and paste right there. And we're going to go ahead and compare how they look. So this is what it should look like. And this is what they gave us. It looks like the dark region is right there. So it looks like, again, the shading is off. The blue should be below, and the red should be below. The red they shaded above. All right, let me know how you did. Again, this you might have to go back and look at a couple of those problems. Good luck.